Yo, what up everybody? How's it going? It's me, Marcus, back here in MX Bikes. It wasn't too long ago that I made the YZ85 video. A lot of you guys really enjoyed that one, and now I have the 2017 KX100 Super Mini. So this is a bike that's the same size as an 85 as far as the bike goes. It has bigger wheels on it, and also the engine is bored out a little bit higher. Uh, so it's a little bit faster. So we've got the Super Mini here, and of course it's the week of Loretta Lens. So you know I have to go and take this thing out to Loretta's and see how see how it does. Going down the iconic, start straight away into the sweeping right-hand corner at Loretta's, and you can hold this thing wide open through the first corner. I'm not fast here. I'm not fast in this game, but you can uh, you can go pretty quick on this super mini out here. You do have to make sure that you slow down for the corners because they do creep up on you kind of quick. Here's the Ten Commandments. I'm not good enough to triple in, so I just double through these. So if you get out of rhythm in this section, <laughs> it's not good because on this bike, it's really, really tough to get back in rhythm. So if you screw up through there, it kills your lap. But Loretta's is a basic track. It's flat. There's not a lot of big jumps. It's pretty much a track built for these size bikes. So it, it works perfect on this bike out here. So right there you've got that table and then here's a triple. I probably should have clicked the fourth to get over it. And then right here you've got this triple jump, which is a really fun one to whip on. There's really two jumps on this track that you can throw whips. It's that one right there and then another one coming up. I like how you have the the more rough sand section right here. And you've got the ruts. Ruts everywhere in the corners, which is really nice. A lot of line selection on this track. And then this jump right here, this one's a good one to throw whips on too. Again, not the biggest jumps, but it's still a pretty fun track on this bike. I'm not sure how this track is on a big bike. I, I don't think I've actually ridden it on a big bike. But it is fun on these little bikes. Oh, <laughs> dude, I hit that corner so good. At least for me. And then this triple right here is kind of tricky. Oh, I just cut way to the inside. You got the billboard turn here. And this one you have to be careful coming into it because it's really easy to come into it too fast. And then hit the braking bumps at the end of the straightaway and go down because these bikes, they're not stable. They have a short wheelbase and they're not stable at all. So you do have to be careful when you're riding these things because they loop out really easy. I think this bike is more stable than the YZ85. The YZ that I rode, that thing was super, super unstable. This bike does feel a little bit more stable, a little bit easier to ride, but still, I would say these bikes are more difficult to ride than the bigger bikes. Try and get the shrimp one here. Nope, not enough. And see, I screwed up my rhythm trying to get through it but it's not good if you get out of sync through there it's not a good time off track <laughs> going all over the place so if you go outside right here you can kind of hop into the rut a little bit there we go case that triple just a little bit but not bad i landed right on top that's probably my favorite jump this section right here is really fun just that whole really fast section is awesome. <laughs> I stood up a little bit too early. There we go. Oh, I should have clicked the third earlier. How fast? Can I just hold this thing wide open through here? <laughs> oh, you can. See, I'm still learning this game. I don't have a whole lot of time in this game. So I'm still figuring out where you can just hold it wide open and where you have to actually let off. So the big sweep in the right hand corner, uh, the sand corner right over there. It looks like you can hold that one wide open. Let's see if I can get this triple. I might need fourth gear right there because I did case it. You can just hold it wide open through here. <laughs> oh my god! I'm going to try and get this triple into the Ten Commandments again. There is an inside line, but I don't know how good that is on this bike. Nope, didn't get it. All out of whack through there. That's a tough section to get right. Come on, 
Case in that triple again. Yeah, the the jumps on this track are a bit of a stretch at times on this bike. Especially that triple right back there and then this triple coming up. So you can kind of hop right there into the rut, hop through the corner. I don't know why I did not click up to third for that for that tabletop there. That triple right back there that I cased. If you get that thing nice and clean, this section's super fun. Why did I not click up? I just hit that section so bad. Ooh. Oh, if I would not have looped out right there, that would have been a really good corner. I didn't loop out, but I kind of wheelied a little bit coming out of the corner. All right, fourth gear wide open all the way through this thing again. Let's see if last time was just luck. Yeah, I think it kind of was, because that is not how the track goes. There we go. Getting that triple nice and clean. Oh, tuck the front end. Hold it wide open through here again. I almost tucked the front end right there. I felt the thing slipping just a little bit. I had to, I had to let off just a second. And then I overcooked it into the corner. All right, let's try and get these commandments again. It's all about the corner beforehand. No, we're not gonna get the triple in. Let's go for the doubles through here. Oh, looping it out. <laughs> Almost. I got a little front end high through there. I clicked up to four thinking that might help, but again, that triple right there is tough. But thankfully, it's pretty forgiving. You can case the thing about as bad as possible and you'll still you'll still ride away perfectly fine. Here we go. Try it in third. I might need to click up there, but I know I need to click up here for sure. Oh, <laughs> going off track, getting sketchy. Sweep around the outside. Oh, I did not hit that corner right at all. Kind of cut a little bit to the inside halfway through. Oh, getting sketchy on the landing. Try this corner again, fourth year wide. I did let off a couple times, but that kept me on the track. If I would have kept it completely wide open, I for sure would have went off the track. Oh my dude, slam. Do one more lap out here. That's, again, not the line. Oh, I'm going down. And I went down again. So if you get too far on the front end, and the braking bumps on this bike, it's just right over to your face. Ah, oh, fifth gear through there. Oh, looping it out. Oh, I went for the triple, cased it. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if that's possible. I'm gonna go off the track and just go as fast as I can into the commandments. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> I got the triple in. <laughs> but that's about as good as it gets. Third gear, I think. I think if you click up to fourth before that triple, it's gonna bog too much. It's not even gonna matter. Same thing with this one right up here. Like, just casing it isn't bad. It, I mean... You can ride away perfectly fine if you case that, that triple. Actually, both triples, if you case them, you're fine. <laughs> that was kind of a sketchy corner, but at the same time, kind of quick. Well, that's some super mini laps here at Loretta's. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. There are still a few more mini bikes that I want to check out. So if you guys want to see more of the, uh, the small bikes, definitely let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys all again in the next video. Have a good one.